This is a tutorial on how to use an Excel spreadsheet with the Find Options button. A couple of ways you can do that. Uh, the first is I need to load up my options box, so I'm going to go to Show Tool Tabs. I just want to load a whole bunch of items in. So I'll go to my acupuncture points. I'll click on bladder one, then I'll go to my keyboard in the down arrow. And you see it's scrolling through and it's adding all of these acupoints to the options box. I'll add a couple more. I'll do plans and I'll do meridians. I'll do organs. I'll do date. And I'll do system. Now, there are times when I'll add a lot more than that, but for now, this is good. So you can see these are all in the options box right now. So I'm going to put my cursor at the front top. I'm going to right click and go select all and copy. Then I'm going to open up the find options. And I'm going to, in this first white box, rectangular white box, I'm going to paste. And now I have that list that I had in there. Now you can also just open up your find options and go to load a cocktail and you can load a whole bunch of cocktails. Um, but in this particular case, this is all I want to do. So I'm going to hit search. like my laptop is running a little slow today. Now, depending upon how big your list is, uh, your options could be in the tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands like it is now. You're going to also find it gets up into the millions, tens of millions. Or in my case, when I really pursued this, I've had as many as 400 million options found. But you're putting a huge list in at the time, at that particular point. This is just a small list. And normally, um, if I was on my desktop, this would be going a lot faster. But to get a quality of recording, I need to put this on my laptop. I think it's going to finish pretty quickly. And there we go. So now they add the results down below. And you can see that the options have been figured. And then what you want to do is you want to be able to sort so that you can get your lowest number and go from low number to high number. Remembering that the lower the number is, the more on target to what the most stressed is. So once again, now I'm going to Highlight a little, hit my shift key, move down, click. Now I've got the whole thing highlighted. I will control C to copy. I will go to my spreadsheet. And in the first upper left hand corner, I will paste. And now they're all in there. Now you could scroll down and look for your numbers if you want, but let's do this the, let's do this the right way here this out of my way. So first thing I want to do is I want to hit find and select. And I want to replace. 
that will open up. And what do I want to replace? I want to replace options. You can see, well, I'm gonna go first with containing. So you see the word containing here is in every line. So you wanna find that containing and you wanna, what do you wanna replace it with? You want to go to your keyboard. You wanna hit the shift key and then up at the top left hand corner next to, usually next to the number one key is what's called the tilde. And the tilde is the cap, you have to do the capital, otherwise it's a, uh, a back accent um, on the lower case. So uppercase, it's the tilde. And you wanna replace all. And it made 549 replacements. And you'll notice that where the word containing was is now this little tilde. So next you want to take options and you want to replace that with nothing. Replace all, we made all the replacements. Okay, hit close here. And now you'll see that there's the utility and there's the numbers. So now what we want to do is we want to go up top here to the little drop downs and hit data. And we're gonna make text to columns. Now I'll click on that. And this box opens up and that's what we want is delimited. So you want that to be clicked. So you hit next. Now here it's already set. Or usually you'll see it, it, there'll be a check mark and tab. This is where you want the check mark. You want a check mark next to other, and you want to put the tilde in there. Hit next, and then finish. And now you see that these two columns are pretty straightened. So then you're going to put your cursor on A, and you're going to drag over to B, so now you have both columns highlighted. And now you can hit the sort button up here and you wanna sort by column B. Hit OK, and now you can see their uh, descending order, low number, I mean ascending order, low number to high. And so now you've isolated your, um, you do this, just double click. It opens it up and you can see that in this particular case, all these uh, points, came up and then anatomic response came up. And so these are my zeros. These are the ones that I would wanna work on. So now what you can do from this particular point is you can um, maybe work on these separately. You might go to bladder 27, put it in a um, recharger or any, you know, anything. There's anything that you can do with it. You can go from here, but this tutorial is to show you how to sort to save you time so that you can find your high numbers. And in this particular case, what I would do is I would just take all of the zeros, copy, because again, in a big, in a big spreadsheet, um, I will have sometimes as many as six or 700 numbers selected. So then I would just go ahead and now I've got it in my own spreadsheet, I can keep that. I can make that, uh, keep it separately if I want for further uh, reference. I could put it in a, uh, a Word document, whatever you wanna do, but I've highlighted these are all my zeros. And uh, that's basically how you use, oh, well then, when you go back down and you minimize this out of the way, if you hit done, then all of these options and stuff will now be added over here. So you could do that. You can add all of those in with the full options, or if you wanted to be really um, specific, you could go back and do like I did and copy just the zeros. And instead of putting all of these in here, you could just do the zeros. And just let's 
select all, copy, delete. So everything's out of there. And now I go to just the zeros. And I copy those, control C. And go back to here. Now all I have in there are the zeros. Sure, I do. Let's go back here. Oh, there they are. Okay, just took a while. Like I said, my computer's going a little slow. So now I can just run all of these. I can be specific with them. And that's all I need to run. And then I would, I could hit my wonder click. I could focus on just that. I could, you know, take my theme here, copy it, put it over here, paste it, preserve the theme. And then since I know this was the theme I was running and these are the zeros, I could preserve that, go down to manual, hit scan. And this way, I'm telling the software, focus only on this, the theme I particularly set up, and focus only on those particular zero points that I figured out. Out of time, it wants three seven-hour sessions. So I hit start. And now the software is going to work on specifically these zero points for this theme and it's gonna run for 21 hours. And that concludes this tutorial. Have a great day and God bless.